Hello everybody, my name is Kitema. Welcome back for another video of Franchise Hockey Manager 6. We're going to continue this series. As you well know, this is my last year of contract with the Hamilton Tigers. So we got to make it worth it. Uh, I first year with them, I managed to make them win their cu uh, the cup. Uh, it was fantastic, right? It was a garbage team and making them win the cup right after their first year under me was pretty great but after that we missed out on the playoffs two years in a row because we had to face against let's face it Montreal and Toronto which uh in Ottawa but Ottawa has always been going to be a, a garbage team until they come back but Montreal and Toronto are just OP compared to me they have unbelievably good rosters uh, I showed you guys the rosters in the last video but it kind of glitched out at the end and I want to try it again or anything. So we're just going to make it simple. I'm going to tell you what it looks like. Uh, Montreal, their team is still pretty OP. They still have a deep core center line. And uh, for the rest, I mean, there's a bunch of five, four stars, uh, three stars everywhere. Uh, my, Toronto, though, does is a little bit more balanced. There's a lot of, they have a lot of three stars, a couple of four stars. Uh, they're kind of the same as us in terms of um, of team. So as you can see, this it kind of looks the same as us. We even have a bit more play, good players than them overall. So I think we should be able to overcome the Toronto uh, St. Patrick's. But I don't know if we're going to be able to overcome Montreal again. Uh, they might be in our way. Let's just take a look at the history. Montreal is pretty much the only team that's winning the cup or that won the cup aside from us over the past uh, like six or seven years. So we got to make something here happen. Let's try to make at least the playoffs. I think it's definitely uh, uh, doable ever since uh, it's going to be three teams for the playoffs this year because we're six teams and Ottawa, we know where they're garbage. Boston and Montreal, the other uh, Montreal team, they're uh, both brand new, brand new teams. So it's the regular season. We're about to start it up. These are my lines right here. Die with uh, Boucher and Scott. Gerard with Lalonde and Stanley. Two good lines that sh I think could really work out well for us. So let's just go ahead and start it up, boys. Start the season up. We start with a win. There we go. As you can see uh, uh, as well, Tini Thompson, right, is our main goalie right now i think we got our young uh, two young goalies right that we were uh working on on the minors they're actually ready now they're playing in the in the nhl so the rookie uh, they're basically r still rookies that are trying to get by re uh, really on the nhl and it's going to be interesting to see what they can do on their early stages uh, with us and uh probably their last too because i don't know how long Hamilton's going to last for. We did lose here against Montreal. That's not good. We also lost a game against Toronto, as you can see uh, earlier, which I don't like. I'm not a fan of. Hopefully, we can win games. This is uh, the Maroon, so we can, we're can. we definitely going to be able to beat these guys. There we go. Uh, beat uh, to these other three teams. What I want to try to do is win as many games as possible against Toronto. Now, we don't have to face... Uh, teams like Toronto and Montreal, we don't have to face them every five seconds. So that's probably going to help us out too, uh, having more wins overall and stuff like that. Uh, we are winning some games against Montreal too. They're playing Dolly Dolson, which I don't know who he is. Probably a prospect goalie or something. Probably just garbage. Dick Irvin uh, got uh, suspended. That's not good. So here we go, boys. I'm just going to save the game really quick. There we go. So after 10 games, we're actually the second best team of the league uh, above Toronto, which is really what I wanted overall. We're not far behind Montreal, actually. We only got two losses so far. One against Toronto, one against Montreal. Let's take a look at the stats for the team. Let's take a look. There we go. Uh, Art Garni, of all people, a two-star player, has the most goals this year. That's interesting. Uh, New Zealand, there we go. He's got seven goals and uh, ten games played, but he only scores goals right now. He doesn't uh, produce points. He doesn't do any assists. That's fine though. Neil Stewart, look at that, seven point goals as well. Holy shit! He's actually the best player. 
See what I, I was telling you guys when I, I could have gone for Neil Stewart as well because he's a I knew he was gonna get a, a good he was gonna be a good player. I mean, take a look at these offensive stats. 17 of offensive stats. This guy is absolutely crazy. Crazy uh good. So we got Neil Stewart, we've got uh, Morans in there. Uh, our best player is Frank Boucher in 10 points and 10 games played. So uh, we're starting to make struggling to make points itself for our players, but I prefer having a team that wins games than a team uh, than a team bunch of with a bunch of players that play like they're legends. You know, I prefer uh, like having both would be good. But what about this guy, Dolly Dolson? Is the is the main goalie for the Montreal Canadiens? That's interesting. It's their main goalie, right? And I did give, give them back uh, Vizna, but I think Vizna is actually playing in the minors for them right now. They're not playing him, boys, so too bad for them, I guess. Whatever, let's just continue the simulation right here. We are, and also, right, since uh, I probably told you guys already be, uh, before on the other video, at the end of the other video, but we uh, since we are six teams this year, it's actually gonna be different the way uh, the the league works, right? We instead of having 24 games uh, to play, we actually have 30 games. It up uh, the over amount of games that we have to play up itself by six. So we have six more games to make our player produce and stuff, and uh, to make our team give our team uh, team a bit of a more of a chance. We're definitely gonna make the playoffs. I mean, we're first right now. Look at this. 17 uh, games played, so three more games to simulate. There's a an overtime loss. That's okay because we got a point out of that. Okay, the second game, Maroons front office. Looks like uh, the Maroons are gonna have uh, some clean, clean, the cleaning house to do in the upcoming days here for their team because they they keep losing and we keep winning. Actually, we're winning a lot of games against Montreal. So I'm thinking that Montreal. Wait, Montreal doesn't don't they have George Ensworth still? I think they still have George Ensworth, so that's interesting. If they still have George Ensworth, why are they not playing him in first place? That's probably why they're losing so many games right now. So yeah, that's well losing a lot of games, but that's probably why we're winning so much against them. Because they're not playing their best goalie. Potential goalie. That's crazy. Let's take a look at the stats after 20 games, boys. Uh, eight at 18 goals, 18 goals and 20 games played for Babe Die. There we go. He came back, so Babe Die made a huge comeback. He's now the best player of the league. Great, great. Uh, I knew uh, Babe Die could do it. I mean, obviously, he's supposed to be the one that produces the most in the league, almost. So great, uh, good, uh, good thing, right there. Morans with 28 points. Frank Boucher went up too. Good, good, good. So they're starting to have a little bit more chemistry, I guess, because. As soon as he started producing, Frank Boucher as well, right? They're playing together. They started producing. And Laurie Scott with 20 points. Interesting. Uh, goalie leaders. We got Dolson with 15 wins. Yeah, I don't know. They, they're not playing this. The only play goalie that are uh, playing right now in Montreal. It's kind of worrying me. What the fuck are they doing with uh, Ainsworth? T. Thompson, right, has uh, three wins. So he's undefeated right now. He's having a, a good... A great rookie season, and Connell is our main goalie, so he's got 14 wins. He's doing fantastic. I do want to take a look. I mean, at Montreal, what the fuck are they doing over there? They have George Ensworth as a five-star, boys. What are they doing? Look at that. Okay, let's take a look. They've got George Ensworth still as a five-star in his prime, and they're not playing him. They haven't even played him for a single game yet. What the fuck is Montreal doing? They're playing their backup for the entire year instead. That must be their coach being a dumbass or something. That's gotta be what's going on here. I can't believe they're doing that. See, now he's first. There we go. How the fuck were they playing? Oh, I don't get it. Let me take a look. Montreal, Montreal. Take a look at their staff. Bob Farger, Boyd Farger. I mean, he's not a terrible coach, so why the hell does he do these decisions? I don't know, boys. That seems, that seems kind of fishy to me. Let's continue the simulation for the last 10 games that we have to do here. 
but that's uh oh we got uh, someone suspended billy stewart is suspended for our team for two games i believe so now we gotta switch it up yep it's one of our defensemen so um i guess scratch player we actually have to get here um one of our guys right here it's a lefty so uh is the only lefty available it's monroe so let's just get him in there there we go and go back into Hamilton Tigers do dress players instead there we go and I guess we're just going to do create lines set up uh, roles there we go we should be good for two game two games we're going to have a different roster here a, a little bit of a change so but uh, we keep winning except for that game against Toronto there there we go. Now we uh, we can go back and do the same thing again. So Monroe, you're going back to the minors. There we go. We're gonna do dress players, assistant, and set up roles. There we go. Let's continue here, boys. We're doing fantastic. We keep winning games, and these uh, games that we have to face up against uh, Toronto, uh, not Toronto, but um, Boston and the other Montreal team, Maroons. It's really helping us out tremendously boys it's making a huge difference not enough skaters suspension for red green oh now it's uh, another oh my god now it's our left wing that got suspended that's, that's just uh that's just great so our, one of our left wing got suspended so now i gotta go back again so now we're starting to get hit by suspensions interesting rush wheel you're gonna go up there we go and uh hamilton there we go we're just gonna do assistant that assistant this ai set roles there we go fuck oh, man already two suspensions in a row boys we keep winning game though it's not gonna slow us down uh watch will i won't need to give you any numbers uh, i guess i can give you a number while you're playing but it's only for two games so it would kind of be a waste of time but whatever let's just continue right here last game for uh, that guy Connell, we win against obviously the Maroons. Oh no, no, we're still good. It's just taking a three hour time before the uh, the next game, so we still have three more games to play this year. Oh my, we're a complete race with Montreal for the first place. We're in a, a completely crazy race right here. Uh, let's just get this guy back in there, back in the minors. There we go. Dress players uh, over there. We're just going to go this and this. There we go. We should be good. Let's just go ahead and make all of this happen. So three more games to play. We lost our, fir our first one. Uh, there, the Montreal I fired their GM, of course. Every team. Now, that's one thing that I do um, recognize that happens always. Always happens is if a team is garbage, like the last few teams that are in the league are always during the year uh during the end of the year just gonna fire their coaches and gm it's always gonna happen i don't know why but that's just how it happens boys i it's kind of weird in a sense i mean it makes sense for some teams but for teams like these that are just starting you would think they would know they would do uh, garb uh, they wouldn't do good any or anything so you would think that they wouldn't fire their GM or coaches or whatever. Because there, there's no way they can even make it. The, the, no matter what the coach or who the coach or the GM are. But anyways, we finished first after uh, 30 games. 30 games, right? So 49 points we finished first. That's really good. We actually finished the uh, best team of the league. That's what I'm talking about. So this is a good indication that we could win the cup. Let's just hope that Montreal is not OP this year. All right, they if they f start uh, actually using Ainsworth, that might be a problem. But if they're not going to use him, that's not going to be a problem. Uh, Babe die, twenty four goals, so he finished up uh, best score. W um, not actually, I won't say it once again because he did not uh, finish up best score last year because he got uh, well, he didn't get injured or anything, but. He w it wasn't a great year for anybody. I don't remember which uh, player it was that had it, but whatever. 17 uh, goals for uh, Bill Cook, boys. Having a, actually probably his best season of his career right now, Bill Cook. He's having a renaissance era. 
That's interesting. So they die in there. The best player, though, is Ari Morenz. So 45 points for uh, Mr. Ari Morenz, best player of the league uh, right now. Bill Cook, second at 41. 40 points for Frank Boucher. Really happy for him. He's uh, having a, a good time. So best career of his season. Uh, best season of his career, I guess. Babe died 38 points. Really good for him. Uh, he had a really uh, good year this year. And uh, that's pretty much it for the rest, for us at least. Well, let's take a look. Actually, I do want to see. Uh, New Zealand only is in there, right, for the goals. So 12 goals, but only 19 points. He, he started to only score goals. So he's definitely growing old right here. Um, soon enough, he won't be able to play in the league anymore. So we won't be an NHL player, that's for sure. That's kind of a shame. He should probably retire right now because I, I feel like he's n he's starting to really not produce as much. He was playing the second line and only did 19 points, which is not bad, but it's not good either. He doesn't have any offense anymore. His offense dropped. He's got some mental still, but that's not enough. All right, the best goalie, though, Alec Connell. On par with Dolson, I mean, for 21 point uh, goals, so uh, or 21 wins, I should say, and T.D. Thompson with three wins. So he only uh, like played three times, but he did his part. Ainsworth, they did start playing him for four games, but he won like uh, two of them. Interesting, really good. What about the history league? So far, so good. New Zealand is still the best player around, but uh, he's not gonna be for too long. Babe Dye is actually the best. Scorer now he did pass New Zealand. That's really good. All right, all right. Well, that's uh, that's that. I guess let's just simulate until the season uh, is officially over. We can start into the playoffs. So we're facing off against Toronto in the playoffs. There we go. Looks like Toronto is going to be our main matchup. Uh, let's take a look really quick. Actually, standings, playoffs. Yeah. So we did get the pass since we were first. So we're definitely in the Stanley Cup championship, and we don't even have to face Montreal, which is great. So that means Toronto defeated, um, they, they, they defeated Montreal. That's great. They defeated Montreal. So now we got to, all we got to do is beat Toronto, boys. I definitely think we can do it. It's definitely doable. We just have to defeat Toronto and we can win our st second Stanley Cup under this team. And for this team, having two cups in their history is a lot better than whatever could have ever happened in real life, right? So... So let's see right here. First uh, game we uh, win it. Uh, that's a one game. Oh, it was a one game series. That's a one game series. All right. So we won the cup. That's easy. Easy as that, boys. 4-3 deciding game. And uh, as easy as uh, this was, we actually won it. There we go. So we won the cup, boys. Very interesting. What uh, do we have to actually face the... I think we still have to face the Canadian team, though. Yeah, but uh, we did win the cup. So second cup in a row. Great. That's fantastic. Fantastic for us, boys. The fact that I managed to make these guys a uh, nobody team that nobody even remembered, right? Let's just continue until we do the playoffs here against the uh, Canadian team. Or actually, I am going to take a look at the transaction before any team starts signing these players that are potentially good. We've got some, uh, a lot of players right here. All right. Let me, uh, let me get these guys uh, into the free agency. All right, so I went ahead and put all the uh, players that I could always know, boys. Uh, the older players, I went ahead and pl put them into the free agency right now. There's a couple of players that could be interesting. But it's a lot of two-star uh, two players and stuff. Uh, past their prime and all. Uh, we do have to face against the Vancouver Maroons. So it's not the Millionaires anymore, it's the Maroons. Let's uh, just beat the, their ass, I guess. I don't think Egg Fowler is actually a good goalie, but I don't think really they're going to be able to uh, outmatch us. That's for sure. So definitely, we're a lot stronger than them. So we're definitely going to um, secure that uh, that cup. Yeah, there we go. We won the cup officially. Fantastic, boys. Second cup in our history. And in my my last year under contract too, what did I say? I had to make it worth uh, worth it for my last year under contract, right? Well, I I sure did. 
because now I'm switching teams. It's time for me to uh, choose a different team, a new team, and see what I can do with that uh, that, that one. So it's I'm thinking, and I can't go back right um, to my previous team that I went before. Well, I could go back to Montreal, but uh, I don't think I should, right? I don't think I should. That wouldn't be too, too good. I think they've won enough cup over the years. They don't need me right now. I'm trying to make teams that are underrated win the cups, uh, win the cup, right? So I'm thinking we could go for the Maroons or Boston Bruins. The Boston Bruins are always going to stay there. Uh, maybe give a chance to Ottawa Senators, but it's always going to be in the last teams, right? The the garbage teams is the ones I want to use because it, those are the teams that I want to give a chance at participating in the playoffs. So uh, one of these three teams right here, um, you guys can probably choose for me. Well, actually, I'm not. I'm going to have to choose on my own, but we'll see which one is more interesting. So because I won the cup, uh, they, it gave me a lot of points, nine points to use, which is fantastic for us because now I can do tactics and do it like crazy so I can do be at 15 of uh, tactics for these two which is really really good for us let's go into the 1st of July this is when I'm gonna switch teams but I want to see if there's not gonna be new teams I even that could uh, I could go into so uh, I did let go of Lester Patrick and also one of my assistant coach boys they both the contracts were done with so I let go of them because I know I'm gonna sign them as uh, I'm gonna sign at least uh, Patrick. I'm gonna sign him again as a coach for my brand new team that I'm gonna be in. Looks like we got a uh, Herb Gardener who decided to retire, so he retired. Interesting. Eddie Hoffman decided to retire. He was going to free agency as well. Uh, decided to retire. I think it was enough for him. And uh, Jack Walker. Decide to retire as well. I don't know anything about that guy though. Or no name basically. Oh, there's a new team. I see it boys. They're Pirates. Pittsburgh Pirates. There we go. Brand new team. Brand new team. Let's see what we have right here. So NHL draft order. So we got seven teams now. Brand new team boys. I'm thinking I, I, I definitely going to go for the Pittsburgh Pirates. It's the brand new team in here. I think I'm going to go for them. Uh, local uh, pros day whatever pirates get new broadcast contract all right so let's see the new changes new NHL expanded by one team uh, WCHL changed its name to the Western Hockey League in the WHL so now it's the WHL we all know that name very well the Pittsburgh Pirates joined the NHL Hamilton Tigers are no longer a thing what did I say so it was definitely going to be their last year anyways, but they managed to win the cup in their last year. Uh, they switched up to New York City. So they, uh, they, they went to New York and changed their name to the New York Americans, which are eventually going to become the New York Rangers. Oh, uh, actually, no, never mind. Never mind. The New York Rangers is another team different for the Americans. There's going to be two New York teams. So and the New York Americans, boys or the new team, a new name for the Hamilton Tigers. They're still, uh, so the, the two cups they won are going to be under this name now, instead of this name, which is fine. The original capitals, okay. And nothing else, really. Nothing else. All right. Let's uh, go ahead and do our thing. Resign from the team. There we go. I resigned from the current team. Let's see their new coaches. New GM uh, resigns. Cup said it, it, it was too early to speculate, okay. So who took it? Hody Cleghorn. All right. So Hody Cleghorn decided to be the new GM. Good for him. Barney Stanley is the new coach. He's their player and he's actually the coach as well. Interesting. Very good. Let's take a look. Uh, do I still have... I still have the thing. So uh, available jobs. There we go. That's where I have to go. So... These are all the teams I can go to, all the seven teams for the month uh, for the league, and also the seven uh, or six or seven teams for the uh, WHL. But I'm not going to the Canadian uh, league, that's for sure. I'm staying the NHL boys, and I definitely think they're a playoff race contender, but they're a brand new team. Uh, very interesting. So 
playoff means they're in the playoffs they're guaranteed to be in so uh, the americans are guaranteed to be in montreal as well boston and Mon uh, maroons are not going to make the playoffs that's for sure uh, uh, pittsburgh and toronto are the ones that are going to compete against each other for the playoff race let's go with pittsburgh let's go with pittsburgh give them a chance i mean toronto already uh, gained um already got a cup right before they already had a cup um a cup chance before uh, or a cup win before and i think well montreal won a cut the uh, the other ones and two cups for these guys uh, because of me i think i don't need to go to toronto or anything i want to go to different new teams that are coming out teams that would never have won the cup in real life right and they, they never did I want to give them the chance to get that get that cup right so i'm gonna go for uh i guess i wanted i wanted to go more for the maroons but it's the pirates i'm gonna go for the pirates boys so let's just go for them take over the team of the pirates so we're going for five years with them but they're not gonna last five years we're probably gonna switch names a couple of times so that's gonna be interesting let's go boys brand new gm there we go brand new gm for uh this team now I got to do all my stuff. So let me go ahead and change the team up. Get all the roster get in, uh, good and done with. All right, boys. So as you can see right here, we don't have any player whatsoever. Since we're a brand new team, there's no expansion or whatever. Uh, we don't come from a different team that came before us. It's actually a really brand new team. So there's no roster. There was no roster to it. So I had to get whatever I could get. Uh, this year out of a uh, weak free agency uh year we got what we could uh but uh it's tough it's definitely tough boys um let me see really quick where um did Vizina retire because i don't see him anywhere he didn't have i don't think he had this contract uh, renewed or anything i don't think he did uh let's just took a take a look at the player index really quick number 19 he's still playing i think yeah he, no he's retired no he did retire okay so they didn't say it he retired but they didn't say it well i guess he didn't win enough uh wins yeah he wasn't that spectacular i guess but all right then so he did retire that's interesting uh let's take a look really quick uh, we don't have anything to do let me just skip a date uh i went ahead and traded uh well got as the all the amount of players i could get for at least my team there we go get uh, everybody signed up uh, I am definitely gonna need a little bit more we got some decent players here and there but uh, depth wise we don't have any depth boys it's a brand new team so it's gonna be rough for the f uh, first or two years right first two years it might be rough but afterwards we should be okay so there there was a trade Ottawa decided to trade Corb Denny or they got Corb Denny in exchange for uh, Jack Darag okay interesting t thompson so new york t thompson's going to montreal really all right montreal and new zealand alone's going back to montreal yo that's a huge trade that's a huge trade boys use it on into montreal uh, and uh, to finish up his career there i guess with t thompson as well in exchange for george a and jack arbor that is a huge trade really huge so Archie Britton, I guess, yeah, get your number, whatever number you want. And you can get uh, number seven right here. All right, so that's done. We got all of this. What about free agency? We still have a couple of players who haven't uh, signed yet. So right now, what we have signed is we got, we got three left wingers, three right wings, and a right D. That's all we got signed right now. Please accept all of you. Accept, please. You're gonna do me like that right now? Fuck off, man. All right, look, the, t the senators are offering more. I'll offer you two years. I'll offer you more. Two years, three mil, all right? Two years, three mil, my guy. There we go. What else do you want, for fuck's sake? So it's the amateur draft day. We're gonna go ahead and draft our players that we need to draft right here. Uh, let's see. So Pirate, the Pittsburgh Pirates were the first team. We got the first overall. That's good. Did Clapper or Goodfellow, boys? I don't know. Which one do we want? Uh, he's probably going to play this year anyways. Whatever happens. So 
I'm thinking which one has had the most potential right here. I think Did Clapper is a better offensive play uh, defenseman, so I'm just gonna get Did Clapper overall. Uh, Marker, whoever would be interesting, I guess. Ingram, uh, we got that ten. That's eleven. Okay, good. Eleven for Kilry as well. Marker as well, eleven. Okay. Who's got the most mental? Kilry doesn't have a lot of mental. Uh, Marker does. BD as well. Let's just get. You know what? There is one thing I needed is I need right. Uh, I'm gonna get shields because I need right these. Uh, I do need right these right now. So did I get two right these? Yes, I did. So I, I'm good at least on that one. Jarvis Buck. All right. So I'm just gonna go ahead and simulate this uh, really quick. All right. So we're good. Uh, I got everything I needed. My roster is full. I got uh, the roster uh, backup full for the miners, a depth uh, forward that can replace if it comes a suspension or something for the miners. So we're good. We have everything. Uh, I'm going to take a look. I'm going to show you guys the head coaches. So Lester Patrick back at it again, still in his prime. A lot of good stats and everything. We got Ben Haas, a really great goalie coach. Excellent about the. We're going to definitely need that for the goalies that are the garbage goalie gar garbage goaltenders we got and we've got mark saddle mitchell calligan uh kevin In ingerfield mark pyatt we got a lot of we got some good decent uh, coaches and stuff and i'm thinking we're gonna have a a bad year we're gonna start off bad but eventually i'm gonna build up this team further and further it's gonna become a really good team whether it's the pirates or a different name it doesn't matter it's a brand new team we're gonna try to make it a con stanley cup contendership team so remember to leave a like and subscribe to the video i'll see you guys uh for the beginning of the season keep it easy